pro cycling isn't all about the super light diminutive climbers. It's actually a sport where height can be a big advantage. So here they are, the top 10 tallest riders in the peloton. Knate has been with Team Sky since 2011 and was instrumental in delivering Bradley Wiggins to his 2012 Tour de France title. At 1m94 he can provide shelter for even the lankiest GC hopeful. He's also managed top 10 finishes at Bayern Rundfahrt and the Tour de Suisse. The lofty Italian enjoys it when the going gets tough. He started the Tour of Flanders for the last 5 years running. While his Palmares haven't set the world on fire, as he enters his 30s he achieved the best placing in his career at a stage race, 6th overall at the Tour of Turkey. Despite closing in on 2 metres tall, he's actually the lightest rider on this list, tipping the scales at a mere 74 kilos. At 35, Gustav Larsson could look back on a career where he's done pretty much everything. Olympic and World Championship silver medalist, Grand Tour stage winner and 5 times Swedish national time trial champion. He even took a shot at the World Hour record in March 2015. He's not won many races as a pro, but Johan van Summeren will be best known for his performances at the toughest race on the calendar, Paris-Roubaix. Four top 10 finishes, crowned with that career-defining win in 2011. He's perhaps not as well known as some of the other riders on this list, but Rito Hollenstein is another powerhouse who is finding his legs as a time trialist. He made his Grand Tour debut in his first professional season in 2012 at the Giro d'Italia and has raced for Swiss outfit I Am Cycling since 2013. Taylor Finney is a giant, and that's even before you measure his hairdo. He's already demonstrated his massive potential, and that's despite sitting out for over a year due to a knee injury. He's one to keep an eye on, but at 1m97, he's not hard to miss. One of the tallest and possibly the heaviest riders in the peloton, Jens Maurice honed his skills on the track before making the move to the road in the early 2000s. His sole win at the Eneco Tour in 2011 doesn't tell the whole story. He's a hardened classics rider and a valuable asset in a team time trial. Mikael Schaar is an out and out workhorse and his reliability as a domestique has been rewarded with a place on BMC's Tour de France team for the past five seasons. He'll often be found setting the pace at the head of the peloton, while the rest hide behind his 1m98 frame. The big German has made a career out of guiding others to victory. Mark Cavendish and Andre Greipel, among others, have enjoyed sheltering in Seberg's rather substantial slipstream. It's a good job he's tall, there aren't many people who can dwarf Andre Greipel. Coming in at a fraction shy of 2 metres tall, Stein van der Berg isn't quite built for the Grand Tours. His last one was back in 2010. However, he more than makes up for that when the Spring Classics roll around. His raw power has brought him close to a major Classics win on several occasions. So there's our list. Have you found any riders that we've overlooked? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you click here, you go through to our top 10 facts that you never knew about cycling and click down here for how to slipstream like a pro. It'll be handy to have a tall person around for that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to GCN if you haven't already.